Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with time. Our learning goal for today says, I can solve elapsed time problems involving whole hours and half hours. Well, friends, all elapsed time means is it just means that time is changing. So let's say there's like we talk about today I went to the store at one o'clock and I left the store at two o'clock. Well, I was at the store from one o'clock to two o'clock, which is one hour. That's elapsed time. That's it. Okay, so I know you guys are going to do great with today's lesson. The materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board or a piece of paper. And you'll need this lesson template. Now, this lesson template is not in uh, your math book. So if you don't have a copy of this in the module, uh, there's also a link to it in the video itself. Now, if you don't have the capabilities to print it, that's okay. You'll just have to draw the clocks out, okay? And don't worry when you draw them about being perfect. You'll have to draw them in your problem set as well. Um, just do the best you can. Just know that 12 is always on the top, 6 is on the bottom, and 9 and 3 are straight across from each other on the side. And then that can help you once you put those numbers in first. Then it's easier to put in the rest of the numbers, okay? All right, so let's get started. So we're going to do problem one, and it says Kelly gets up at 7 o'clock a.m. She leaves the house at 7.30 a.m. How long does it take her to get ready? So what you're going to do is on your two clocks that you have here, you're going to draw the hands on the clock to show the times and then solve the problem. Okay, so you're going to draw 7 o'clock on one clock and 7.30 on the other clock. And then you're going to find out how long it takes her to get ready. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so as I look at this, I'm going to say, well, my hour hand and my minute hand should look like this. Your hour hand should be pointing to the 7, and your minute hand should be pointing to the 12. Okay, now we need to record 7.30. So for this one, now I need my, my minute hand to be in between the 7 and the 8 because 30 minutes is halfway past 7. And then 30 minutes is represented at the 6. So this is 7.30. Okay? To go from 7 o'clock to 7.30, I could kind of see that I went halfway around the clock, right? So it's almost like a fraction. And half of our full 60 minutes is 30 minutes. That's a half an hour. Okay? So 30 minutes is how long it takes Kelly to get ready. Now, you could also skip count around the clock if you wanted to, because we know we went from 7 to 7.30. You could skip count from 7 o'clock, and you could go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to get to 7.30. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at problem two. Okay? So Tony goes bowling on Saturday at 2 p.m., he gets home at 9 p.m. How long did he stay out? Well, boy, he was out. He was a party animal, wasn't he? Nine o'clock. I guess good for him. <laughs> All right. So, friends, on these two clocks, you're going to show 2 p.m. And then you're going to show 9 p.m. on the other clock. And then draw. So draw those hands. And then solve of how long did he stay out. So pause the video. Solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here is 2 p.m. when he left to go bowling, and here is 9 p.m. when he got home. So how many hours was he gone for? He was gone for seven hours. We can solve that by saying we could count around on the clock, right? We could start at two o'clock and we could go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I would, as I counted, I put up a finger and I had seven fingers up. So that's seven hours. Or you could subtract nine hours from, or sorry, you could subtract two hours from nine hours and get seven hours. So just a different way to be able to solve it. I probably would have counted on and gone around from 2 o'clock and counted 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's probably the strategy I would have used. Maybe you used a different one, and that's okay. All right, so awesome job with that one, friends. Let's take a look at number 3, or problem 3. 
Students arrive at the museum at 10 a.m. They leave at 2 p.m. How long are the students at the museum? Ooh, sounds like a fun trip. I wonder how long they spent there. Well, I think you guys can figure that out, right? So here's your two clocks. You're gonna draw the hands on the clocks to show the times and then solve. So pause the video, draw the clocks, and then solve for how long are the students at the museum. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, friends, so here is 10 a.m. on the clock, and here is 2 p.m. on the clock. So to figure out how long they're at the museum, we could say we're starting at 10 a.m. and we're going to count to 2 p.m. So we would say, and I'm going to put up a finger for each time I say this. So from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, then to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 2 o'clock. So four hours. You could also think about it as going from 10 to 12, which is two hours, and from 12 to 2 is two more hours. So that would be 2 plus 2 is four hours. So it's a total of four hours the students are at the museum. Boy, that sounds like an awesome trip. I wish I could go to the museum. All right, good job with that one, friends. Let's take a look at problem four. A movie starts at 11.30 a.m. It finishes at 1.30 p.m. How long does the movie last? So again, you're gonna draw the hands on the clocks to show the times and then solve. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so let's see that our first clock is 11.30 a.m. So we're in between, right, we're at 30, so that's where our six is going to point to, and our hour hand is in between the two hours. So it would be between the 11 and the 12. Then for 1.30 p.m., my hour hand would be between the one and the two. Okay, it's not gonna be straight on the one because that would be one o'clock. So it needs to be halfway between the one and the two. And then the minute hand would be on the six because that represents 30 minutes. All right, so for this one to solve, I couldn't just subtract, right? Because it goes from a.m. to p.m. So I looked at my clock and I kind of counted around the hours. So I went 11.30 to 12.30, which is one hour. 12.30 to 1.30 is two hours. So they spent two hours or I'm sorry, the movie was two hours long. Oh, I wonder what movie they went to. Sounds kind of fun. We love to watch movies at home right now. All right, so awesome job with that one, friends. Let's look at problem five. So Beth goes to bed at 8 p.m. She wakes up at 3.30 a.m. to go to the airport. How much time did she sleep? Oh, she got up at 3.30 a.m.? That's pretty early. I wonder how much time she got to sleep. It doesn't seem like it would be very long. Well, let's figure it out. So you're gonna draw the hands on the clock to show the times and then solve. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so friends, this one was a little bit tricky for me because they weren't on, both of them weren't on the hour or they both weren't on the half hour. We have one on the hour and then one on the half hour with 8 p.m. and 3.30 a.m. So for drawing the clocks, that was fine for me to do that. Okay, so that's what your clock should look like. Now, we can use the arrow way to solve this problem. I really kind of needed to draw it out to help me. And maybe you didn't need to draw it out, but I want to show you what I was thinking as I solved this problem using the arrow way. Okay, so we started at 8 p.m., right? That's when she went to bed. Well, I know that I can count up four hours and get to 12 a.m. So now I'm in my a.m. times. Well, I have to get to 3.30 a.m. So if I go up three more hours, I'm at 3 a.m. And now, oh, I'm so close. I'm at 3 a.m. I got to get to 3.30. So let's just add 30 more minutes. And now we're at 3.30 a.m. So to figure out how much time she slept, I need to count all of those numbers from my airway. So I would add four hours plus three hours plus 30 minutes. Well, I can kind of break that down a little bit and say four hours plus three hours is seven hours, right? Just because four plus three is seven. 
and then add in that 30 minutes and I would get seven hours, 30 minutes. So I don't know how you guys solved it, but I thought the Arrowway really helped me to understand to see how much time had passed from 8 p.m. to 3.30 a.m. So that's always a really good strategy that you can do as well. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at problem six now. Last one. We're almost there, friends. So you're going to show 8 a.m. on one clock and 8 p.m. on the other clock. Okay. So then you're going to try and figure out, are these clocks showing the same time or two different times? So a little bit different question this time. First, you're going to draw the two clocks, and then you're going to answer the question, are these clocks showing the same time or two different times? So pause the video, you do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so the first clock is going to show 8 a.m., and the second clock is going to show 8 p.m. Oh, so are these clocks showing the same time or two different times? What do you guys think? Ah, well, some say yes and some say no. They're showing the same and some are different. Well, friends, they're actually different. They're the same hours because they're both 8 o'clock, but one is a.m. and the other is p.m. So those are two very different times, right? Like a.m. is going to be like when you wake up in the morning and p.m. is when you're going to go to bed. So if these times occur on the same day, so like if I wake up at 8 a.m. and I go to bed at 8 p.m., how much time has passed between the first time and the second time? So I want you to pause the video and I want you to think about how you can solve that problem. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So how many hours passed? 12 hours, okay? And there's a couple different ways we could figure this out. We could start at eight o'clock and we could count around all the way around to eight o'clock again. So we would put up a finger every time. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would be 12 hours, okay? Or we could say that we know that 12 hours, there's um, half, 12 hours is half a day, right? If we go from the same time, that's half a day, right? And then really because they're the same a.m. and p.m. or the, I'm sorry, they're the same hour but different with a.m. and p.m., it's going to be 12 hours. All right, so you guys are the best. You did such an awesome job solving elapsed time problems involving the whole hours and half hours. I'm super proud of you guys. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.